That's Mike. And Raven. And Khaleesi. And we're about to play RuneScope Kingdoms. Now we're going to do the next part of the campaign, the Demon Slayer. Yay! Because we beat the vampire. So we are going to play with the same character we did in the last one. So if you want to know how we got this far and how we built up, you can look at the other videos we've done for this. But we're going to start off with our characters starting against the Demon Slayer here. So the last time we fought the vampire we won, we were in Drainer Village. So, Drainer Manor, sorry. So we're going to keep our characters there. And then when we start this one, we have to pick up the danger card for the Demon Slayer. And then we pick up the first escalation card. And then we start in a different capital. So anywhere but Lumbridge will go to a different capital. Okay. So for the danger card, Raven's just going to read that. Dark wizards roam the lands, threatening traveler and adventurer alike. When an adventurer moves onto a region with one or more danger tokens, they must immediately take the following skills test. So we have to fight dark wizards. And if we do a, it's either a melee fighting, a ranged fighting, or a, a magic skills test. If we pass it, we can remove a danger token from this region. And if we don't pass it? Then we suffer a wound and advance the escalation, escalation track by one. The adventurer can't forage or or skill this turn. Oh, okay. So that's a danger card for this one. Flip over the first escalation, and this is what it is. Dark Whispers. In shadow-drenched corners, dark wizards whisper with excitement. So we place danger tokens in the Grand Exchange and Farmland and collect vault cards 58, 59, 60, 61, and 62 and shuffle them into their respective exploration decks. So we'll grab those and then we'll start with the same order that we did last time, then I'll go first. All right. So we got those vault cards and we're not putting them on top like the vampire one, the other one. These ones get shuffled into their decks. Right. And then we'll start my turn. So we can't do it yet, but the start of this mission takes place. We have to go to uh, Bar Rock and have free gathering. Me and you have two and I have two, right? Can I say? Yeah. So we'll have to build that a bit before we start into the mission for this. Right. So. We get to place our characters in any other capital city. We also are still going to play with the noob expansion when we use the noob character too. Yeah. And then maybe after a couple of missions, we'll add, we're thinking about the the kitty on the tree, right? Clusy, you want to add that one? Because that comes from the Black Dragon expansion. I think that one has, there's room crafting, there's summoning, and I forget some of the other skill, you add different skills you can add too. Cool. Okay, so we'll start off in different capital cities and I'll start. So we put ourselves in our capital cities. I went over there because I want to finish some stuff in Port Serum and you did too, you said? Yeah, um, I have a, another quest that I have to do stuff in Faldor, Vark, and Burnthorpe. And then you wanted to go over there so you could go do the quest over. Uh, what place did you say, Khaleesi? White Wolf Mountain. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll start my first turn. So my mover teleport, I'm going to move over to Port Serum. And then that's going to give me part of my Scouting Bandits quest, because I visited Port Serum now. Cool. Now I just have to go to the Goblin Village and I finish the Scouting Bandits quest, too. Nice. Uh, next thing, I now I can either explore or do an action. Uh, I'm going to do an action there, because I have Witch's Potion. And if I'm in Port Serum, the adventure can perform this action. So for a moment, you oh, you can... Sample another potion like I did last time. This is a continuation from the other quest I did. Right. So, another cococcin is in need of testing. Do you have the stomach for it? So, I'm going to try that one. So, it's uh, a defensive skill check, and it's skill four, and I need to get a seven. Okay. So, I'm five in defense, so I'm one better. So, I get to roll three dice. Cool. Okay, because I'm five... Defense and one higher, I get three dice. And I needed seven. Oh, I also have the iron body when exploring a capital region. Oh, and I add a special skill dice on skill test level three or less. So that was a four one. So I want to get to add one on that one. I need to get better, upgrade that better. All right. Okay, but I got an eight, so I passed it. For your minute, for a moment, your skin feels tough as iron, like it could. Withstand any blow, a successful test. You have completed the quest. Nice. So I get that. So I'll get three in defense and four gold. So I'm at six defense now, and I finished my third side quest. So now 
whenever it comp whenever a venture completes a side quest, they gain one XP and a skill of their choice. So that was my third side quest. So when I finish one, now I can pick an XP I can put in the skill. Cool. I want to start getting better at melee, so I'm going to get an XP in melee. And I have a bonus action now. I can't explore or forage because I didn't do the explore. Explore action, like the normal action. Mm -hmm. So I can't get that cherry, but what bonus action can I do? So I only need one more metal and I can upgrade my hammer, but I don't have it right now. Uh, a bonus action now if I want, I can get another. I'm going to look at the quest too, because you can decide to get a new quest, because we've got some new ones now that we did the Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. And because when we started this one, we picked new ones too, they say. So we all picked a new mission too. I think that's what that potion one I just got was. That was one of the quests you can get to pick at the start of the campaign. Right. Okay, so I'm going to look at the side quest. So I'm going to pick that quest. So what's the story for this one? Drainer Manor has a new resident. She's a promising scientist, but she's having trouble getting a good night's sleep. It's not the spooky interior of the manor, it's grave past, or the haunted furniture that's keeping her awake. The lumpy beds are to blame. If you help Ava achieve a good night's sleep, who knows what scientific curiosity she will produce as a reward. So if the if this adventurer is in Drainer Manor, they can perform the following actions. Speak to Ava by collecting vault card C13. Okay, so I'm going to take that quest. Cool. So now it's your turn, Khaleesi. So Khaleesi, you wanted to go over to, where did you want to go? White Wolf Mountain. Okay, because you wanted to, we, this is one of the quests you started at the start of this one too. That's what the DS is at the top for the Demon Slayer. So this quest is called Finding Bessie. F Farmer Groat's prized cow, Bessie, has escaped. Help him track her down. To complete this quest, this adventurer must visit each of the regions listed below. White Wolf Mountain and Ice Mountain. If this adventurer has visited each of the regions listed above, they can complete this quest by visiting farmland. Okay. That one has a danger token on it, but you're good at doing magic, so maybe you can take that danger token off. But you're going to go over to White Wolf Mountain. Yeah. So then you get to put a part of the quest done on that one. So you moved over there. You got part of that quest. So now you can do explore or an action. So you have no action to do over there. So you're going to do explore? Yeah. Okay. So you would pick up a card for Burmsthorpe. Where are you at? White, White Wolf, Wolf Mountain. So what's for that one? Random event. Okay. So we'll pick a random event card. So we got the random events. So top one, what did you get? This one is. Giant rats. Since the demise of Count Drainer, the population of giant rats has massively proliferated. You wonder if the two are linked. A few of the vermin now block your path. Choose one of the following. As an action, you can go around, place this adventurer in an adjacent region and explore it. Or time for the rat hunt. Gain three... It uh, looks the, the meat, meat yeah. food, and two thread. Remove this card from the game. Huh. You like cooking, so do you want to try to get the food and thread too? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Cool. And then we remove that card from the game now. Cool. So now you get the forge there, but there's no... That's a skill one. So you can discard up to three different resources to get XP in that skill. And you want to discard your meat and a thread to get two XP in defense? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that. So now your defense is at two? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so now it's over to Raven's turn. So I'm going to move to Port Serum with you to do my Pirate's Treasure quest. So we'll move to Port Serum. So Pirate's Treasure. Redbeard Frank knows the location of Pirate's Treasure, but he'll only part with the knowledge for a battle of Kerrigan, for a bottle of Kerrigan rum. If this adventurer is in Port Sarum, which I am now, they can perform the following action, which is speak to Redbeard Frank by collecting Vault Card C11. Okay, so we'll grab that. So that's part of the quest for the recipe for Calamity one from the Cocomancha one? Yeah. So we've got the Vault Cards for those. So what's C11 say? Rum. So Redbeard Frank says, Art. Our treasure ye be after, eh? Well, I might be able to tell ye where to find some for a price. I'd like some rum made by Karamija Island. There's no rum like Karamija rum. 
The customs office has been clamping down on the export of spirits. You seem like a resourceful adventurer. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to slip the good stuff past them. Collect vault card C12 to continue the quest. Well, that's C12. So the quest is you'll need to figure out how to get a bottle of Caramidra rum to Frank. You could try the stealthy approach. That said, you've heard the guards like gold. If this adventure is in Port Sarum, they can perform one of the actions detailed below. Action, smuggle the rum. That's a 6-9 thieving class. That's tough. Okay. Yeah, or bribe the guards, discard five gold coins to complete the quest. Cool. And then you get 10 gold coins if you beat the quest, too. Yeah. And skills and thieving. Cool. So you have a bonus action to do. Do you have any bonus actions? Um, you already have two quests, so you can't get another one. No, and I don't know if I am hmm. one cook food, three different I don't have I don't have ingre enough ingredients to cook. So I can't do cooking as a bonus action, so I'm good. Okay, and then Khaleesi forgot to do her bonus action, so what did you want to do for your bonus action, Khaleesi? I wanted to make my sponge cake. So what do you need for your sponge cake? So you're gonna you have flour and an egg? So you're going to make some sponge cake. So it's a skill-free test. What's your cooking? Five. So you're better than it. Do you have any stuff for getting, rolling a bonus dice? You got that new staff, but nothing for cooking, I don't think. No. And a hood. Magic staff. Okay. So you still get to roll three dice, and you got to beat a six. So you get to roll three dice because your skill's better. Oh, you didn't get it? Oh, boo. So, discard one of the ingredients listed above. So, which one of those ingredients do you want to discard? And you get to keep the other one, Khaleesi. Flour, because I have another flour. Okay, that's a good idea. So, we'll discard the flour. Put the egg back. And you still did the skill, even though if you fail, you still get experience in cooking. So, you get an XP in cooking. Oh, and that would add up to your level. So, what's your level now, then? Six. Nice. And that's everyone. So, now it would go back to me. Escalation doesn't go up because no one's in the capital city or anything. So that worked out. Cool. So, so I'm going to spend one gold point to teleport over to Edgeville because I want to get some of that iron so I can upgrade my smith hammer. So I'm going to spend a gold point to teleport over to Edgeville. So I'm going to explore in Edgeville. So you don't get the card for that, but I can spend one gold to get better in range, defense, or gallery. And because I have the iron plate body, I can spend two gold to get defense twice. Cool. So I'm going to spend two gold to get two XP in defense. So one more XP and I'm at seven. Nice. I can spend two gold to get better in melee or thieving, or I can spend one gold to get better in gathering. I'm going to spend one gold to get better in gathering because we need to get someone to free gathering to start to go through the progression of the mission of this one. Right. So I also get uh, iron for forging in Edgeville. And for my bonus action, I'm going to try to upgrade my smith hammer. Cool. It's a skill test of two. I'm six in crafting, so I'm higher, so I roll three dice. And it's a skill test of two or below, so I have to get to add a special dice too. So four dice, I got to be the six. Nice. Cool. Did it. So, collect vault card 45, discard all the cur upgrade resources, and return this card to the box. So, and I also get an XP in crafting, so one more and I'm at seven crafting. Nice. So, I got that hammer for upgrade. Okay, what's that one? Imkando Hammer. A hammer of the ancient Imkando dwarves, a tool of impressive precision. So, you add the, you add the special dice to skills tests of a test level of six or below. You can even upgrade that one. That's a lot of ingredients too. Yeah, skill cool. Tests. Cool. So now I can add more dice to higher skill tests. Nice. And that's my turn. So now it's over to Khaleesi. I also ended my turn in the capital region so the escalation track would go up by one. So what did you want to do, Khaleesi? I wanted to go back to Burnham, Burnham Fort so that I would get closer to Ice Mountain. Okay. Now, do you have any actions there at all? Okay, so then you can explore. So we don't get a card in that one, but like, I did you want to spend any money to get better in any of those skills? Mm, no. 
No? Okay. So then you would get our building material, rock. You also are in the capital region. So is there anything you want to put in the clan bank? There's nothing to take out of it. Is there anything you want to put in there? Crafting the materials so I can help build stuff maybe? Two crafting materials. Okay, so we'll put... Rock and some yarn. Okay. And did you have any bonus actions you want to try doing? I wanted to try doing the sponge cake again. Okay, so you need an egg and a flour. So your skill is six in cooking, so you roll three dice. Yeah. And you're looking for a six. Hey, you got it. So, gain one cooked food ration and discard all the ingredients for the above. Cool. Those rations helped when we did the vampire fight too, remember? Yeah. They did. My ration. Okay. And you get a skill in cooking. So it's cooked meals you make. Those you can heal two wounds when we're not in the boss fight. The rations we can use in the boss fight to heal. So that was your turn, so it's over to Raven's turn. So Khaleesi ended their turn in the capital city too, so escalation track goes up. So I'm going to move back to Faldor. Faldor. And I'm going to do my pub crawl quest. And that's an accent, so you don't get to explore, so you won't get to do the skill or forwards there? Right. Okay. So a traveler needs protection while they visit the best bars the kingdom has to offer. The Toad and the Chicken, Falador Party Room, and Jolly Boar Inn. To complete this quest, this adventurer must perform the bonus action detailed below in each of the following regions. Oh, it says bonus action there, but it says action there. Weird. Okay. So I'm going to do for a Falador, because that's where I am. Okay. So it's a skill five. Yep. What's your skill in fighting? My skill in fighting is four, four. but I have, from us killing the vampire... The blue right sword. So you get to add uh, special dice to... To my melee fights. But if you roll one, you have to spend a GP or discard it? Yes. And you can also sell it for six gold in... Jane Village. Cool. Yeah. So you get to go on one normal dice because you're lower than the skill and the special dice. And it's a five skill? Yes. Okay. Like, oh, you got a ten too on the normal dice. Cool. So you beat it. So you get a skill in melee. And you did the Felder one, so you still have to do two more fights. Right. So that was your axe in there. It said bonus axe on the top of the card, but it says for the same axe in, so. Yeah. And I don't have enough ingredients to cook anything, so I'm going to... Forego... And you already have two quests, so you can't get another one. Right. So I'm going to forego my bonus action. You could put something in the clan, right? Mm, that's a good point, Khaleesi. I'm going to put some stone building material in the clan bank. And what about is, does Khaleesi need any of the food or the herbs? You can put those in there for Khaleesi for making stuff maybe? Yeah, we'll do that too. Okay. My turn. And you're in a capital city, so escalation track goes up by one also. So it's back to me. Remember for in the noob zone, we can do the noob quest too about trying to identify it too? Right. Okay, but... I am, before I leave, I'm going to grab stuff out of the clan bank. So I'm going to grab the crafting materials out of there so I can help build stuff for me or you guys. I need a bunch of iron to build some of my stuff, but I don't want to stay in the capital city to get it because I don't want the escalation track to go up. Right. So I still have to go to the goblin village for part of my quest, which that's, no, you're not there. You're in Felda, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to move over to Ice Mountain. So, I don't have any accents there. Oh, I forgot about Drainer Arc. I can go over there, too. When I come around, the Animal Magnetism quest I just got, I have to go to Drainer Manor to start that, too. Right. Ava. Ava, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to explore in that zone. So, I'll take the card from there, from Edgeville. Mm -hmm. So, you are in Ice Mountain. An ice fiend charges towards you. Fight it or scare it off with magic. Gain a gold piece off a rune. Oh, it's a one. It's a fighting one. Yeah. I can do that. One seven. So I'm above it. So I gain three dice. And I have a bronze longsword. And it's a skill test of two or lower. So I add the special dice too. Cool. And I need a seven. 
Out of 10. No, that's another 10 of you. So we got that. So I gain a gold point and a skill in fighting. So one more and I'm at free fighting. Nice. And that's the cooking skill there. So if I want to discard any materials, I can get better at cooking. I think I'm good. Khaleesi's a cook. so I, And I want to keep my building materials for making stuff. Right. So I'm good with that. For my bonus action, I don't can't get any more quests. Can I upgrade anything right now? Nope, I can't cook. So that's my turn. So it's over to Khaleesi. So what do you want to do, Khaleesi? I want to take on a goblin village to get towards Ice Mountain. Okay. So I'll move over there. Now there's no accents or anything you can do yet, right? But I could make another food or rations. Yep, that's your bonus accent though. So we'll explore in that region then. So it's another Edgeville card, right? Yeah, okay. So Goblin Village random event. Oh, another one. Okay, so what random event. Level locked. You reach a rickety bridge. A hooded figure stands at the entrance. The stranger looks you up and down. You'll need, you'll need to hone your skills before you proceed. Choose one of the following. Barge past or take the long way around. So if you take the long way around, you got to... Advance the escalation track by one. Okay. And then if you barge past, I have a kingdom to save. Get out of the way. As you step on the bridge, you are pushed back. By the time you recover, you realize you have been teleported. Roll a d10 and place this adventure on the corresponding region. Ooh, one to three, you go to Ice Mountain. That's where you want to go. Yeah, and four to seven is Wizard Tower, and eight to ten is White Wolf Mountain. Huh. I want to go back to White Wolf Mountain. No, so let's, you can either stay where, right, what's it, so... So either take the long way around, and that advances the escalation escalation track by one, or we roll a d10 and see where you end up. Roll a d10. Okay, okay if you roll the d10, though, you might get pushed back and you won't go the I You'll be farther away from your ice mountain to get to it. Or do you just want to... I wanted to try to barge past, but I might be able to get to it. Okay. Okay. It's easy to roll a few or a four. Okay, so let's see what happens. Six. Oh, so where do you go? Wizard's Tower. Oh, you get all the way over in Lumbridge over here. Okay, so you get pushed back, teleported actually to Wizard's Tower. So you got teleported back to Wizard's Tower. And you explored. So you can get, if you discard any of your resources, you get better at magic if you want. I want to discard a meat. Okay. And you get a skill in magic. So what's your magic at now? Still five. And if you get two more, you'll be at six. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so for your bonus action now, you don't have enough to cook. So you want to look for a quest maybe? I know there's some quests for the wizard tower. So we'll look for a quest. So for your bonus action, you got cook's assistant? Yeah. Took a new quest because you only have one right now. The palace cook needs help preparing meals for several important people. Evil Dave likes his spicy stew. To advance this quest, cook the spicy stew in Lumbridge. Oh, so you need herbs, which you got from the bank. Meat and a cabbage. Oh, you're almost there already. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to move to Remington. And then I'm going to explore in Remington. So there's a for sale sign next to a nice house. You should take a closer look. So it's a test and gathering, which I'm not the greatest in. But there's no downside to it. But you gain no. a stone or wood if you get the... All right. So let's try it. Oh, you might be buying a house, I guess. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> right. So your gathering's at what? At one. Oh, and you have no bonuses. So it's one dice. And what's the skill on it? Four. Okay. So be the four. Five. Nice. Cool. So you get a skill in gathering. And you also get gain building or wood. Um, what do you think is more useful? Is wood more useful because it can craft uh, weapons and stuff? So it is building. Either or is pretty good. 
Uh, I have, because I'm the crafter, I already have two of each, so whatever one you think. I'll we'll get a wood. Okay. So now you have a house in Remington, maybe? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. And now you get the forts, but that, no, I'm looking at Khaleesi's character. You are... In Remington. Remington. So you get a cabbage. Cool. Which will help Khaleesi's ingredients. Yep. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Cabbage. And bonus actions, do you have any? Um, no. Can't get any other quests. Uh, yeah, I have two quests already. And I don't have three ingredients to cook. And oh, I'm what's the pirate's treasure one? You have to be, you have to do thieving somewhere or something. Yeah, well, I have I have to be in Port Sarum to do it, and I have to smuggle the rum. And that's a six or nine quest. Dirt. Yeah. Ooh, and you need to go. Okay, that's a tough one. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the downside of that one if you fail the thieving one? Advance the escalation track plus two. Whoa! Wow, that's. Bad. Or I gotta bribe the guards with five GP. Okay. So. <laughs> and you're what's your, oh you're at four thieving now and. One more and you'll be in the five? Yeah. Okay. So that one's going to take a bit. <laughs> yeah. Then, oh, you need... Clearly, you have a thieving hood, too, because that would help, too. Yes. Okay. So then it would be over to me. So on my turn, I'm going to move over to Goblin Village, because I want to finish my Scouting Bandits quest. So I'll move over to Goblin Village. So moving over to Goblin Village, I got to finish this quest. Bandits set up camps throughout the kingdom. Scout them, but keep your distance is the order of the duke. To complete this quest, this adventurer must visit each of the regions listed below. So I'm going to get five in range, did Three gold coins. Nice. And now that I've finished another quest, I get to get an XP and a skill of my choice, too. Nice. And I'm the first person to finish four side quests, so I get a cape, too. So I'll see which cape I'm going to get. So I'm level two in range now, only one more to get to three. And I added, because I finished did my fourth quest... I put another XP in gathering, trying to get the free in that soon. Nice. And now, because I got four quests, I'm going to pick a cape. So when you get your cape, you could pick which one you want to use it for. And because I'm main focus is crafting, I think I might take the crafting cape. Cool. So when you get your cape, you could actually, that's when they say, I already have that fighter now. You're the other miniatures that have the capes on them. You can use them to represent your model now too. Nice. So I might have to paint that one up too. Cool. So I think I'm going to take the... Crafting cape. I am good in defense too. So it's a side. So there's a magic cape, a fire cape. Hmm. The Judic cloak is a. Hmm. Because if you take. There is no cooking one. I didn't see a cooking one. Maybe in the Cookomancer one. Maybe there's a cook in cape. I haven't seen through that one. Because if you have that, if you do a skill test in that skill, you add five. If you're at least double the test level, you add five to your dice roll. Nice. So I'll decide which one I'm going to get. So I'm doing mostly crafting, so I'm going to take the crafting cape. So if I'm double a skill level in crafting, I add five to my dice roll. Nice. So I don't have any accents to do there, so I'm going to do explore. So I'll get a card, Redsville. I'm in a goblin village. So the goblins in this village sometimes fall short in their bartering skills. So it's a thieving test. And it's and two, you, so I'm the same, so I draw. I roll two dice. Yeah, there's no negatives to it, and if you pass it, you draw from the item deck. Cool. So I roll two dice, and I need to be the six. Or get the six. Nope. Oh, boo. Okay. But I get a skill in thieving, so I'm one away from getting to skill three. So I'll get rid of one of my building materials, because there's nothing to the forge there, but I can do a skill. So I'll get rid of one building material to get one skill in... Melee, so now I'm at skill free. Nice. And that's my turn. But a bonus action. Uh, I'm going to look if there's another quest for me to do, because I only have one quest right now for my bonus action. So there's a couple quests, but some of them you have to be in Faldor or Verrock, and there's one for magic, but I'll leave that one if Chrissy wants to do it. I'm not that great at magic anyway. Cool. So that's my turn. So what did you want to do, Chrissy? I wanted to move between Amina so that I looked at closer to Oh, you gotta go to Drainer Village first. Drainer Village. Okay. So, you don't have any bonus, do uh, you don't have any actions to do there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you wanna explore? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you are in Drainer Village. So, present yourself to the Drainer Villagers as the heroic vampire slayer. 
So it's a defense test, and if you pass it, you get three gold coins. Yay. And you need skill six. What's your defense? Two. Okay, so you only roll one dice, but mm -hmm. you got to be the three. You did it. So you get three gold pieces, and you get a skill in defense. Nice. So you got those, and you also forge to get a fist too. So now your bonus action. Do you have any bonus actions you want to do? I do not want to make food yet because I wanted to do the cook's assistant. Okay. That's later. And you don't have the cabbage one yet. I got to go to Feldor and drop it off. Yeah, do have my cabbage. Yeah. Okay. So that's the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move to Feldor. So do you have any actions? No. So I'm going to explore. Okay, so then you can buy gonna, a skill if you want. Yeah, I'm going to spend one gold to buy a skill in gathering. Okay. Which will then get my gathering to two. Nice. Okay. Did you want to spend any to get defense at all? Um, yeah, I'll spend one more to get one in defense. So only two more and you'll be at four? Yep. So when you forge, you got a thread too? Yes. Okay, and then you wanted to put stuff in the bank? Yeah, I'm going to drop the cabbage and the materials in the bank, just in case you need the materials, because you're our crafter, and I know Khaleesi needs the cabbage. Okay. So okay. I'm going to drop that there. Do you have any bonus accents or anything else to do? Uh, no, I have to be in Port Sarum to do my pirate treasure. And then I your pub crawl, this. you have to be in... I have to go to Burnthorpe or Varric. Okay, so then your turn's done? Yes. And then you ended in the capital city, so the... Escalation track would go up by one. Yes. So I want to try to finish my animal magnetism, magnetism quest. I got to get to Drainer Manor so I could walk, but then I'd have to go through Burnham Sorp. And I, don't, I make the escalation track go up anyway. So I'm just going to teleport over to where you are at Feldor. Yeah. And that would have cost me one gold. I don't have any actions to do there right now. So I'm going to explore. So now I can use some gold to get stuff. Because of my alien plate body, I can spend gold twice to get skill there. So I'm going to do that. So I'll spend two gold to get two skills in defense. So one would get me to level seven, and I'd have one more XP. Cool. And I'll spend one other gold to get a skill in gathering. So that would now get me to gathering free. So now we can go over to talk to the person that we need to do for gathering. You have to be skill free. Awesome. I only have one gold left, so I can't get the two gold things. So then I would also get a thread, too. I'm also going to take the building materials out of the clan bank, because I'm there. So I left the food in there for Khaleesi. So because we're in the same region, we can freely exchange inventory stuff. So I'm going to take your bow from you, because I'm going to try to craft it for my bonus accent. Cool. So I'll get the materials to make it. So I don't get to use my cape, because I'm not my skill isn't double that to add five but i am skill level six so i roll this two dice and because i have my hammer and it's a skill test of six or lower i add one bonus dice and i gotta beat a uh, six ten. seven or ten so we pass it so collect vote card 50 and one because this is some of the cards that don't have all the stuff if you craft it those items all get used because you use them to craft it Makes if you sense. fail the craft, then you discard one of the items. That makes sense. And I get a skill in crafting, so now I'm at seven crafting. Nice. So you got the dark bow, so that one, you can add a skill dice to any skill test. Yeah, cool. The personification of power and precision, darkness descends upon those who face it. I think that's the bow that the character with the cape's wearing, too. Nice. Cool. So, and it's still my turn, so I'll trade that back to you. Cool. Because we're still freely in the same zone. So you can take your bow back. Yay. So now you got a pretty good bow. Yay. And that's my turn. Thank so you. it's going to go over to Khaleesi. Okay, Khaleesi, you said you want to go to Edgeville. You want to teleport because you want to get stuff out of the bank and get close to Ice Mountain? Yes. Okay, so we'll teleport you to Edgeville for one gold point. Now you don't have any accents with your cards or anything, right? No quests or any accents there? Mm -mm. Okay, so now you explore. So you don't get a card, but is there any skills there that you want to increase? In Edgeville? No, it's uh, either ranged, defense, crafting, or for two coins you can do melee or thieving. Uh, that's gathering, too, at the bottom. Uh, sorry, gathering. Nope. You don't want any of those? 
Okay, so then you would get one iron. I already have that one. Do you want to put that at the guild bank then, the clan bank while you're there then? Yeah. And then you can take out your stuff. I wanted to take out all the food. Okay. And now for your bonus action, did you want to cook anything maybe? I wanted to cook. You have to be, you have to cook, it says to advance this quest, cook the spicy stew in Lumbridge. Okay, so you have to go down the Lumbridge to, to, to do that. To that quest, can we see? Okay, maybe next time you can teleport over there. But I need to get to Ice Mountain. Oh, well, next time after yeah. you ask my thing. And I also needed to go to Farmland. Yes. What's the one For you the rest to... of Bessie, because she has to go to White Wolf Mountain and Ice Mountain. And then once she's visited both of those, she completes the quest when she gets to Farmland. Oh, cool. Oh, but there's uh, also that fight. You'll have to fight someone in Farmland too. Yeah. The threats. Okay. Instead for my bonus action, could I create another food because I have extras? What type of, what food are you going to try to make? The meat. Because she has three different ingredients she can do from the recipe book. So you're going to use the recipe book to make food too? Yeah. Okay, so you are better than one cooking, so you roll three dice. I'm level six. Yes. And you got to get a six. Got it. So what do you get if you do it? Gain one cooked food or ration and discard three different ingredients. Okay, and you got a skill in cooking too? So one more and you're what level? Seven. So you're six right now? Yep. So you decide to make a ration with that? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, one more XP and you're at level six, seven you said in cooking? Yeah. Okay. The ration looks like a chicken pot pie. Cool. So your turn's done? Yeah. Okay, so it's over to Raven's turn. So your turn ended on uh, Capital, so the escalation track goes up by one. So I'm going to move to Taverly. And then I'm going to explore. So Taverly says, The lands of Taverly can be bountiful for those with the skill to farm them. So it's a cooking test. And I gain a gold point and an ingredient in my choice if I pass it. Nice. So What's your cooking? My cooking is only a one. Okay, okay so you get one dice. You got to beat a four. And, and you got, got a four, it. so you got it. So you get XP in cooking. Nice. You only need one more to get to cooking too. Right? Yep. So the one ingredient you're going to get is flour? Yes. Okay. So at the end of the turn when you forge, you're going to get a meat too? Yep. Now bonus actions, do you have any? No. No, I don't have anything I can do. So that's the end of my turn. Okay. So I'm going to move over to Drainer Manor because I want to start my quest for animal magnetism. And that's an axon, so I don't get to explore. So I have to do an axon there. If this adventure is in Drainer Manor, they can perform the following axon. Speak to Ava. So I speak to Ava by collecting card B13. Hello there and welcome to my humble abode. It's sadly rather more humble than I'd like, to be honest, although perhaps you can help with that. I just need you to help fix this vile aid bed for me. Then I'll find a suitable reward for you. What I need is simple, a couple of undead chickens. I think you'll be able to find them near the Druid Circle in Taverly and east of Varric. So I gotta find undead chickens? Yeah, and it okay. says collect fall C14 to continue the quest. So it continues the quest. So Ava has sent you out to catch undead chickens. She didn't mention how exactly they'll fix her bed, but who are you to question a highly respected, if somewhat eccentric scientist? To complete this quest, an adventurer must successfully perform the action detailed below in the following regions. So Taverly and Dig Site. Okay. And then you have to catch an undead chicken. So I use gathering or magic. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And then when it's completed, you get... Collect vault card C15 to continue the quest. Cool. What is Dig Site? Dig Site's over by Bar Rock, over by the farmland. One of the yellow ones. Isn't the other one there? No. Because I checked the quest before from last turn, there wasn't anything I can really get yet. So I can't do anything else, so my turn's done. So you said you want to go to Ice Mountain, Kamushi? Yeah. Okay, so you'll move over. So you moved to Ice Mountain, so you got that. So now you just have to go to the farmland to finish the quest. So you have no actions to do, so you explore. 
Baron Ice Mountain. The dark magics of Salus Dellinger still permeate this place. So you need to do a magic test. And if you pass, you gain a resource of your choice. But if you fail, you suffer a wound. Okay, and it's skill five. What's your magic skill? Five. So you have two dice. And you got a wand from beating Count Drano. What's that one? Do you need? I think you have to be skill six to use it, right? Um, yes. Required skill six. So you can't use it yet. But it's a good one. Once you get to skill six, if you do a wound to a boss, you get to do two wounds instead of one. Cool. And it adds a, a special dice to all all skill magic skill tests. Nice. Okay, so you still only get two dice. I don't need that anyway. And you gotta beat uh six. Oh. Uh nope, so you don't. So you take a wound. So even though you failed, you still get a skill in magic. So one more and you're at skill six, right? Then you can start using your magic staff too. Cool. Okay. And then you can forge, but that's a cooking skill. Did you want to discard any of your resources to get better at cooking? Mm. No. No? Okay. I need all these resources. Okay. So then your turn's done. So I'm going to move up to Thorpe. And then I'm going to do the Burt Thorpe part of my pub crawl quest. So I have to do a skill test because my melee is lower. I only get one dice, but because of my blue right sword, I get a special dice. And on a roll of one, I either have to discard a gold point or I lose the sword. So let's hope I get no ones and I need a five. Got a seven. The bonus dice helped. Yeah. Nice. So. We get an RS for that. What's it say for the green too? The traveler has enjoyed a black eye free evening of animated drinking. Okay. So there's no bonus, but you still got a skill in fighting. Awesome. So your next skill, you'll be at, you're at four now. You'll be at five, right? Yep. Nice. So that was your accent. So you don't get to explore. Right. But you are in a city. So you can still freely put stuff in and out of the bank. Did you want to put anything in the bank? Yes. I'm going to put my flour and my meat in the bank. Okay. And then at the end of your turn, the escalation track would go up by one. So we're at escalation level one now. So we got to read that card and it would go down to zero. So emerge from the shadows. Hidden dark wizards emerge across the kingdoms, rejoicing in the imminent return of Delrith. Advance the escalation track plus one for every three danger tokens on the map, rounding up. Ooh, okay, so escalate events. Advance the escalation plus one for every three danger token. So there was there's only two on there, so we're okay. Yeah. So that's good to know. We are get get rid of those two because they're gonna make it worse. And then place a danger token in Grand Exchange, Black Knight Fortress, Taverly, Port Serum, Drainer Village. Wow, there's a lot of them now. And then collect vault card 85 and place it on top of the Varric exploration deck. Okay, so we'll do that now. So we put the danger tokens, more widgets showing up on the board. And that vault art card is going to go on top of the exploration deck. So I'm not good at fighting the wizards yet because i got to get better at some skills. But I'm going to teleport over to Valrock because I have the gathering to start the progression of the quest for the Demon Slayer. So I'm going to spend one gold to teleport over to Valrock. So now that I'm at Valrock, I can speak to Aris. For those who can find her tent in Varrock Square, Aris tells the fortune of those who cross her hand with coin. An adventurer in Varrock with three or more gathering. gathering can perform the following action. Discard a gold point, then speak to Aris by collecting vault card 63. Oh, I need a gold point. I don't have a gold point because I teleported there. Ah, uh, boo. I, I could take one of mine. Oh, but there's, we'd have to wait till we go to the clan bank then because no one has any gold in there. No. So I'll have to wait till somebody puts gold in the clan bank? Yeah. So I can't do that yet, but I did teleport over there. I don't have any gold. So I'll do an explore because that would have been an action, right? Yeah, so that would have been an action. So no, I couldn't have done that anyway. Right. So I'm going to do explore and Volrock. So I don't have any money to get any skills. 
but I still get to afford, so I get a piece of leather. So I don't have any materials to build anything with my bonus actions. I don't have any other quests I can get. So I'm just going to wait there. Do you want to take the iron out of the clan bank? Does that help with anything yet or no? Uh, I'm only there. Yeah, I might as well just take the iron out now. If someone puts gold in there, I can give that to Eris my next turn. And the escalation track would go up by one. So it's Khaleesi's turn. So Khaleesi, you said you want to teleport over to Lumbridge? Yeah. Okay. So it's one gold. And now you're in Lumbridge. Do you have an action you can do there? Uh, she wants to complete her quest, but it's a bonus action. Okay. So the quest is a bonus action, it says. So you can still do your normal action. So you can explore in Lumbridge. So you don't get a card, but you could. do you only want to spend any gold to get better at magic, melee, or cooking? I wanted to spend the gold to get better at cooking. Okay. So it's one gold. And now your cooking is at what? Seven. Nice. Okay, did you want to get better at magic or melee at all? Mm, no. No? Okay. So then you also get a lumber two for forging. Do you want to put... Oh, remember I need a coin. Do you want to put a coin in some lumber in the bank so I can talk to Eris on my next turn? So that way I can do the quest for the demon slayer. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to take the food out of the clan bank too? Yeah. Okay. Now that you're in lumberage, you can try to cook the... Spicy stew. Okay. So your skill is seven. Mm -hmm. So you get three dice. And you got to beat a six. Oh. Uh, so discard one of the resources listed Oh, but above. she got... Oh, no, it needs a six. Never mind. Meat. So you'll discard a meat? Yeah, because I have another one. Okay. But you can't do this. This turn, you can't try the test again. <laughs> but you do get an XP in cooking, even though you failed. I'll try it again next turn. Okay. So the escalation tracker goes up by one because you ended in the capital city. So you already did your bonus action for cooking, but the bot, you can do a test for gathering too, which could help New us out. Newer bot. Yep, but you already did your bonus action. So it's over to Raven's turn. So I'm going to move to Taverly. And now that I'm in a spot with a danger token, I got to do one of those fights. So as soon as you move into that zone, it says you have to immediately do a test to fight against the fight dark wizard. So it's a fight. You can either do melee five, range three, or magic four. You said you want to do your bow? Yeah, I'm going to do ranged. And your skill is free for bow? It is. So you get two dice for that. And then one special dice for my new dark bow. Cool. And the skill is five. You beat it. Really beat it. Cool. So once you do that, Remove the danger token from the region. Nice. Nice, you got rid of one. You beat a dark wizard, and you'd get a skill in ranged. So you're one XP away from getting to skill four. Nice. So now you can continue your turn as normal. Do you have any bonus? Do you have any accent you have to do there? No. Okay, so you want to do explore then? Yeah. Let's do that. So I'm in Taverly. There are coins to be found for the eagle-eyed. So it's a gathering test, and if I pass it, I get two gold. Okay. So my gathering is at two. So you're one above. Oh, you're above it, so you get three dice. Nice. So I need to do better than five or better. Awesome. Nice. And how much? You get two coins. And the skill in? Gathering. Nice. So two more, you'll be at free gathering too. Awesome. Okay, and you would forge for a meat. So in my turn, I'm going to take out the gold and the lumber from the clan bank. And then I'm going to use my action to speak to Aris. And I have gathering three or more. And for my action, if I spend a gold point, I can speak to her. So then I collect vote card 63. Come closer as I peer into the swirling mist of the crystal ball. Ah, it's Derelith. Derelith is a powerful demon. He tried to destroy the city 150 years ago. He was stopped just in time by the great hero, Wally. Using his magic sword, Silverlight, Wally managed to trap the demon in the stone circle just south of this city. I believe Silverlight is currently in the core of Sir Pri Prism, 
one of the king's knights. So you gain an what? XP in thieving. Nice. Oh, I'm already at... So that would push me into free thieving. Cool. So now that we finished that part of the start of the quest, next we have to speak to Sir Praven and adventure in Burnham Sorp. So we have to go over to Burnham Sorp if we have four or more thieving. So that's the next part of the quest we'll have to do. So whoever's got a thieving can do that. I'm already at three. What's your thieving at? I'm at four. So and what's Khaleesi's at? Khaleesi's at one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you could actually part do that part. And you're over by Burnham Sorp too, so that helps. Yeah. So I did my action, so that means I can't... Explore forwards there, but at the end of my turn, the excavation track goes up. I don't have any bonuses I can do. It's nothing in the bank for me. I can't craft anything, I don't think. So my turn's done. So you want to stay in Lumbridge so you can try to do your cook's assistant quest? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try this again. So we'll need the ingredients. The cook's assistance is a bonus action, so you can still do your action because you're not moving, right? So you want to explore there. So do you want to spend it? You don't have any gold. Nope. So you can't buy any skills, but you do get a lumber for forging. Uh, did you want to put that lumber in the bank too? Yeah. Okay. I don't need it anymore. I already got cooking. Okay. Now you can do the bonus action. So skill is five. Your What's your cooking skill? Seven. So you get three dice mm -hmm. and you got to be the six. Nope. No. Okay, so what out of those ingredients, what do you want to get rid of? The meat, because mommy could get me another meat easily. Okay. But you get another skill in cooking. And nearly at level eight. Yeah, and when you get to level eight, you can get you'll be the first person to get level eight in any skill, so you can get your cape that way too. Yeah. Nice. That's what I want. Cool. So you ended in a city, so escalation track goes up by one. So I'm going to stay in Taverly and I'm going to explore. Okay. So, random event. Okay, what happens? Old man stories. An elderly gentleman wearing a blue party hat waves you over to recount his past adventures. Draw an exploration card from any area and choose which reason to resolve. The escalation track cannot advance while resolving the drawn card. Cool. So which place do you want to draw a card from? Hmm. Remember we put that random card on Varrock too, right? I forgot what, what that one too. Yeah. So keep that in mind too. I might get that random card because I'm going. Yeah. Um... I kind of want to draw a Falador one. Okay, so draw from there. Sounds good. So, Falador. And you get to choose which one, right? Yes. So... Probably picking one that caters to a skill you're good at. Yes. Which is the one in Remington. Bandits make off with the villagers' coins, and I can take aim. Because I'm good at ranged. I have three in ranged. Okay, so do you want to do that one? Yeah. Okay. So, because I'm above... I get three dice. And because you're a bow, you get another one. Yep. Nice. So I need five. Oh, yeah, you got it. Awesome. So I get two gold coins. And a skill in range. So now your skill is four in ranged. Yeah. Nice. So you forged for your meat, too? I did. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any bonus actions or anything? Not that I can do there. My, uh, my uh, pirate quest is in Port Sarum. Okay. So. And then you also, if you go to Burnham Sort next time too, you can do the speak to surprise in there too, because you're looking for some in there too. Right. And I have good thieving because it's a thieving. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to stop there and take a break and maybe continue next time like we did last time. Yeah. So we already did the first part of the quest. The next turn, you can go see what's going on over there. Khaleesi's going to try to finish up her cooking quest too. Maybe we'll talk to the new robot again at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yep, so this expansion is pretty good too. So yeah. Trying to beat wizards and stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about fighting the demon. It'll be interesting. Can it fly? I don't know what it can do. I didn't look. I haven't tried this one out yet. I tried to count Drainer when we first started, but I haven't even tested or tried this one out. So it's a surprise to me too what everything can do. 
Can cool. we make it red when Mango is green? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, thanks for coming out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.